Okay, this is a quick demonstration on mixing and pouring flow stone uh, from the plaster guys. I had found for an average mold that you want to start with about one and three quarter ounces of water. So there we got about one and three quarter ounces of water. And we are going to add powder till we get just about to the three and a half ounce mark. So I am going to take their flow stone here and sprinkle it in and let it soak in. And just keep doing that. Now, um, there we go. Okay, and as you uh, just uh, shaking it in, if there's any lakes of water, just continue to sprinkle a little powder on those lakes of water. Just a little bit and let it soak up. And sprinkle a little more and let it soak up. Okay. Now that I think is pretty close. Pretty close. Because what it is is we've got, eh, I think probably use a little bit more. We've got some dry mounds of plaster on top that are not soaking in. But yet we still have sort of a lake of water on the, on the side. So I'm kind of looking down in here and if you see that's kind of what we're looking like at the, uh, at the top right now. That's looking pretty close to the amount. Let's see what we've got as far as it goes. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's about uh, three and a half, it may be slightly over three and a half, it may be a little closer to the four ounce mark. Uh, so I would say probably with this flow stone, you probably want to do it until you get about to the four ounce mark. Now it looks like, uh, kind of similar to Merlin's Magic, this start, this is, you know, soaking it in. And it will continue to soak it in. And you can add more powder than, you know, you think you might need a little bit, and, and it will still flow a bit. Now, this stuff I've noticed when I compared it to the Merlin's Magic does not flow quite as well as Merlin's Magic. But I think it does flow better than the, uh, than the Excalibur, or almost just about as much as the Excalibur. So when I'm mixing it up, this... Uh, this isn't quite as smooth as the Merlin's, but it flows really pretty well. It flows better than uh, flows better than the uh, die stone that I had reviewed uh, uh, above this particular one. So that really that really flows pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and pour this material into the mold. I'm going to give this a uh, spray of the surfactant here, and we'll knock the rest of that off. And let's see how this flows into the mold. Okay. Okay, that's how the uh, flow stone from the plaster guys uh, flows into the mold. It looks like it flows pretty good. It definitely flows better than the die stone. But then again, that also may give us trouble when we're trying to scrape off the top as far as, uh, you know, getting the top scraped flat. What I'm going to do is fill it up and then we're going to vibrate this and we'll see how many bubbles come up. That definitely flows better. I don't think it flows quite as good as Merlin's Magic. It definitely doesn't flow as good as Merlin's Magic. But it flows as well, or, you know, maybe better than the Excalibur uh, Dental Stone. Okay, now I've got this set on the book on the edge of the table, and I've got a screwdriver handle that I'm going to pound underneath of this. And as I pound underneath of it, you can see that there's uh, air bubbles coming up to the surface. Although there's probably not as many air bubbles as there would be for the die stone because uh, the die stone had a lot of bubbles when pouring in. This definitely pours thinner. Okay, for this particular ma uh, material, I'm going to go ahead and set a timer for eight minutes. And we're just going to let it set and thicken up a little bit for eight minutes. Okay, it's only been about six minutes. But, you know, if you scrape it and it looks like it's kind of being a little bit thick, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape across it to see if there's any water. I did get a little bit of water off the top, but not much. Not nearly as uh, much as Excalibur. Yeah, and look at that. It looks like what I'm having to do is, is work at it a little bit. This stuff did thicken up pretty nice. So six minutes is probably plenty. So I'm just kind of scraping over like that. You see how, how I'm doing that? That's just to break it up because it was just a little thick on the surface here. But the pockets of the molds, it's still a little bit liquidy. But I think it'll be just about right after six minutes of waiting. So what I'm going to do is I've kind of uh, uh, broke it off the surface a little bit. Then I'm just going to take the knife and I'm just going to uh, lean it and go across like that. That scraped off really nice. Okay, let's see how we did. It's been about 25 minutes or so. I'll break off the outside around it. And this I think did pretty well too. 
Yeah, I don't really see any air bubbles to speak of if we get it real close here and you take a look out of it. Uh, and that's just with pounding on the book. So I'll take these out of them here. Now, uh, as far as the flow stone goes, um, it will flow in better than the uh, uh, die stone. This stuff will flow into the mold better if you have something that's a little bit harder to get plaster material into, such as the accessory molds. Um, this stuff is only 9,000 PSI, uh, or 9,000 uh, PSI compression strength. So it's not as strong uh, as the dental stone, but it's still twice as strong as plaster of Paris. Now, as far as scraping the mold goes, uh, this one we were able to leave for about eight minutes, maybe a little bit less, and it scraped pretty nice. It wasn't too liquidy to scrape. So I don't know if you can see on the bottom of there, that's the bottom. There really aren't very big ridges on the bottom uh, to worry about. So you can get a pretty accurate scrape. This is a little bit easier to do than it is with the Merlin's Magic because the Merlin's flow so much. This flows a bit, but if you let it thicken up about eight minutes, you can get it to like soft margarine, so it doesn't have as big of a problem scraping. It's possible that Merlin's, if you let it set long enough, you can kind of get that too, but I really haven't found a good time yet on the Merlin's.